How's it going guys? This is Rio Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. So this time around, more on camera equipment. Uh, it's interesting because I recently purchased an L bracket from Leo Photo, the UL01T. I'm guessing the T stands for titanium. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you guys might have seen some of my videos that I actually swapped my sort of like tripod to a Leo Photo tripod from the Manfrotto, which is a a lot better and I need to make a video on that but that company itself the Leo photo company's been bugging me ever since I purchased my first like tripod from them and I'm like really a happy customer and at the same time I was actually looking for an L bracket because you guys know I shoot with a Fuji GW690 which is a massive camera and you can't use a typical L bracket on this camera you need uh, sort of like a customized version of it or a larger version of the L bracket. So this company actually was selling an L bracket and I just wanted to sort of like spend my hard earned like money as an investment to see if it is worth the hype. So keep note that there's are a lot of like fair amount of people, subscribers, viewers who are not subscribed to my channel who are not really professional but more like new to the field and they really don't are not they but there are some people who really don't know what the purpose of an L bracket is so in this video I like to sort of like clarify those like questions and educate my fellow viewers but probably the majority of you guys might know what an L bracket is and this might be a boring video so here it goes so okay so what's an L bracket an L bracket's basically a, sort of like a tripod mount, which you basically attach to the bottom of your like tripod mount screw or whatever you ever call it. But it's sort similar to a tripod like plate, and you basically attach that onto your gear head or onto your ball head. But what makes it so special is due to the fact that you can also shoot it horizontally, but the main benefits is you can basically shoot it vertically. And if you actually start shooting with a heavy camera like the GW690, which weighs more than 1.3 kilograms, if I'm right, this titanium L bracket from Leo Photo, and because it uses sort of like an Alka Swiss compatible plate, you can basically like mount it onto it like this, and you can also like mount it like this onto your like camera. And I'm gonna digress a little bit about Alka Swiss plates because this is a really important part. Alka Swiss, in my this isn't like sort of my experience. I have to state that Alka Swiss plates for tripods in general have to be the best standardized like plate ever made in the photography community. And I'm gonna get so many backlashes from some people, but I mean that's a true fact due to the fact that it's like so versatile. And when I say versatile, like if ever used any kind of let's let's say a standardized like tripod plates such as a famous one would be Manfrotto's I'm gonna roast Manfrotto in this video Manfrotto's standardized RC2 plate which looks like this a typical like tripod plate you basically lock the plate in four corners like the Manfrotto's RC2 plate the top back and then the front back right and left it's all locked in which means that that plate itself, you can't move it to the left or you can't move it to the right. And there are some like scenarios when the when you try to sort of like mount your camera onto the tripod, but it's kind of sh somehow it's not in the center of the gravity or center of the point of the tripod. And when that happens, if uh, like a wind blows or if something happens, your tripod becomes unbalanced and you will get an unstable shot. And what like Alka Swiss does in this case is that if you bought, purchase sort of like a long end like Alka Swiss plate, what happens is you can basically mount it in the center, dead center. You can set, sort of like clamp it to the right or on to the left, and you get that sort of like flexibility if that happens. And there are cameras out there that don't have the tripod sort of like thread right here right in the middle there are some cameras out there that don't have that or in some cases like let's say my zv1 that i'm shooting like that camera itself is super lightweight so i actually use a cage on it and when i put that cage adapter onto it the what i call the tripod thread part 
actually shifts to the right and it becomes unbalanced. So that's like one of the great things of using Alka Swiss is that you can basically move that center of gravity back to its original location, which makes my life so much easier. And I digressed. And going back onto topic, the reason why an L bracket benefits some people is that if you shoot a lot of verticals and if you ever experience like shooting with having a typical like tripod mount attached to your camera and basically shoot vertically. What happens is that one problem arises when you start like moving your gear head or your, well gear head and won't happen that much, but ball heads in general, it happens is when we lock it into place because this camera weighs 1.5 kilograms, although you thought you like sort of like twisted the knob and locked into a vertical orientation, it's definitely going to sort of tilt to the left because the center of gravity is on the left side. And then it, it screws a lot of photographers when they're starting out. And in order to prevent that, an L bracket basically prevents the camera from tilting to the left side by because the camera is like attached like this, the center of gravity hasn't changed compared to like shooting normally in a horizontal position. So that's like one of the benefits of using an L bracket. Another thing to mention about like L brackets, another advantage, another benefit is that because your your movements when you're like using your like tripod or like head, it's you're basically using the exact same function. So your pan tilt and your like rise and stuff like that, all of those are exactly the same even if you move it to the vertical orientation. Well, if you use a typical like plate, what happens is that because the plate's like attached like this, you can only do like limited movements. So it makes your life a lot harder to like shoot in the vertical orientation if you have a typical like standardized like plate. So that's like one of the benefits of using a sort of like a L bracket and most, I guess, landscape photographers, a lots of people who like shoot like long exposures use an L bracket because it stabilizes the camera in the middle of the center of gravity. Like I mentioned, the center of gravity of the tripod, therefore it won't topple over and and you won't end up breaking your camera. So, and another thing that I realized like like using an L bracket, this does not like like help at all for film photography, but it helps for I guess digital photographers. And if you sort of like shoot like maybe movies, cinema, or some kind of like tether shooting scenarios, tether meaning that you attach your camera, your digital camera via a USB cable to your PC to sort of transfer those images. A lot of commercial photographers do this, is that you can basically tether your camera because the USB ports are typically on the right side. And that's basically where this L bracket is it's sort of like on the right side. Of, it sits on the right side of the camera. You can basically like tether through this like sort of like area this hole right here and you can basically prevent it from detaching you know those kinds of things because it's actually really expensive to like replace those like, usb ports once they're damaged usb hdmi if you do like video and is that it usb usb c usb a usb mini b or hdmi display cable display mount or something like that and kind of sort of like prevents it from like dislocating. So that's another thing to like mention. And I think I said everything for the day. <laughs> so yeah, so this is sort of like a roundup of like what an L bracket was. Hopefully that helped a lot of people who are like confused why they see some photographers like shooting with an L bracket. And yeah, and it was interesting because for me because this was like the only L bracket that I could mount onto my GW690. And if you guys know the GW690, it's like a really wide camera, so you can't use a typical L bracket. So hopefully I, I like made it some kind of advice to people who are looking for an L bracket. But I have to mention again that this sort of like L bracket is by far one of the most expensive purchases I made for this year. It was roughly $100 and it was like, I mean, yeah, yeah. How can I survive next month without, yeah, without my payment? Mm. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. 
<laughs> so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you, have, if you have any questions, please leave in the comments below. I'm happy to reply to them. And if you have, if there's like any alternatives or cheaper alternatives to this L bracket that can accommodate a GW690 or similar cameras out there, I'm happy to like hear from you guys. So hopefully you enjoy this video. Yeah, thumbs up. Maybe watch some other videos and we'll see you next time. Peace. And I keep forget forgetting to mention that, like typical like Alka Swiss sort of like I'm gonna digress again. <laughs> typical like Alka Swiss sort of like plates typically have sort of like have a, a ring attached at the bottom, so you basically do not need a coin to like twist it onto your camera's tripod mount screw or whatever you call. And it makes your life so much easier. But an L bracket for this version, you need some kind of like coin to sort of like twist it into place. So that's like one of the things that you have to keep in mind. Like if you don't have a coin in it, and when everyone's going into this cashless society in this pandemic, you know, you don't have a coin to like twist into your like camera, you're kind of screwed. So that's like one of the things I forgot to like mention. But yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace.